Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Lori Markkinen out there with Kelly Olenek. Then there's Talon Horton Tucker. Then there's Colin Sexton. And it's Clarkson in at the two guard spot. That's the group for Utah right now. McCullum, the pass to Ingram. Over Clarkson. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram. Ingram's got 16 points. Amazing how Ingram has emerged as one of the league's best scorers. Doubled by McCollum. Gordon Tucker on the wing. Hey, expanding his range. That one doesn't drop. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Well, you know that Valanciunas has the potential to go off, and he's doing it here. Clarkson against Richardson. And that one's good. Clarkson. Give him eight. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. Pass to Valanciunas. And here's McCollum. Six to shoot. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And B.A., when you think of C.J. McCollum, not only a superb scorer, but an intelligent and clever passer, too. Two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for McCollum. And Smitty McCollum has continued to add to his game over the years. And what I like about it, we've seen the playmaking improve because he's one of the best combo guards we have in this game. An unpredictable player who just torches the defense. And McCollum drops them both. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland, Gray. And McCollum has showed that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. Now here's Markkinen. Give him eight. Plenty of space. Nance pulls down the board. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. McCollum. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His first personal foul. So skilled at drawing contact. I like when C.J. McCollum plays with aggression. Shooting for New Orleans. C.J. McCollum taking two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for McCollum. CJ has always been a gifted scorer, but he's shown significant improvement as a playmaker, which makes him even more dangerous with the ball in his hands. And McCullum drops them both. The Jazz have gone just one of three in the second half. Outside Sexton. Pass to Markkinen. Clarkson with the ball. Driving in. Back to Markkinen. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. Here's Valanciunas, guarded by Olenek. Outside Richardson. 
Back to Valanchunas. The three is up. Hits the three-pointer. Valanchunas has got five points now this quarter. Three straight to begin this half. Couldn't have drawn it up any better. Pass to Markkanen. Clarkson with the ball. Here's Olenek. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Valanchunas has got 15 rebounds here tonight. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Laurie Markkanen. That's his, That's his first foul of the game. And there's just one foul now away from the penalty. Ingram on the wing. He's covered by Clarkson. Shoots a fadeaway. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. They couldn't have asked for a better start to this half offensively. Four straight and counting. Pass to Markkinen. Clarkson outside. Let's it go. That went a little long. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. Outside Ingram. Now Valanchunas. 22 points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. To the paint. Utah with the rebound. Oh, Lennox got his fifth rebound in this one. For Utah, they've gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Here's Sexton. The Pelicans pull it in. Nance, the pass to Valanchunas. Here's McCollum. Misses the layup. Challenging stretch here for Utah. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Clarkson, down for two. New Orleans has gotten seven of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Ingram with the ball. He's got 18. Nance, the pass to McCollum. Clock at six. Pass to Ingram. The three. And again, no good by New Orleans. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. And the basket by Horton Tucker. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Here's McCollum. After the basket by Utah. With the teardrop. Two points. That one goes. McCollum's got six points in the quarter. The handles of C.J. McCollum on full display. McCollum against Sexton. Pass to Markkinen. He's got it. Six Whoa. of ten now. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And here's McCollum. Ten points for him. Outside Richardson. From outside, off the mark. For Utah, they've gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Mark it in. The pass to Clarkson. Sexton up top. Covered by Ingram. And again, it's Utah. They have no answer defensively inside. New Orleans has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Timeout, timeout. timeout called. The Pelicans. <laughs> and we'd all love to hear what goes on in those huddles, but we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor.
comes in for Markkinen. And Butler is subbed in for Horton Tucker. Outside Richardson. Ingram on the wing. Valachunas against Olenek. Five on the clock. Valanchunas, good. Valanchunas has got 24. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. And Utah calls time here. And Smitty, so often it seems like we make championships the measure of historical greatness. Is enough made of the individual achievements, you think? Well, it's a team sport. We all want to win, but game recognized game. There's players like Tracy McGrady, Chris Paul, George Gervin, et cetera, et cetera. They haven't won championships, but they are still special. Murphy, he's checked in for Richardson. Here's Butler. Clarkson outside. Butler finds Olenek. Count the basket. Olenek's got his third basket on the night right there. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. The Pelicans have gotten six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Here's Murphy. He's covered by Clarkson. The three from Valanchunas gets the three ball to go. Valanchunas, Valanchunas has got ten points in just the second half. Valanchunas had his hands up and ready on that catch and shoot. He wanted it. Here's Butler. Valanchunas with a rebound. Valanchunas has got his 18th rebound here tonight. All over the place. Fade away. That one is off. And Utah will come the other way. Butler on the wing. Three-pointer. Valanchunas with a rebound. And his struggles have been apparent. Unable to make an impact score in the ball. Here's McCollum. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's his first. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. Also, they were ultra consistent from outside, hitting a high percentage of those shots tonight. The free throw drops for McCollum. And he makes both free throws. Utah has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Clarkson outside. Back to Butler. Inside. Here's Clarkson. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Jazz, Jordan Clarkson. At the line for one. Shooting one. And 
And that one falls for Clarkson. New Orleans has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. McCullum, the pass to Valanchunas. Here's Murphy. Pass to Nance. Five to shoot. From outside the arc. The rebound by the Jazz. And that one's good. Clarkson. Clarkson's got nine points in the quarter. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Outside Ingram. McCullum right side. Basket's good. They have laid on him all quarter, and it has worked to perfection. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for Alexander Walker. C.J. McCullum at the line for one. McCullum, no good on that one. The Jazz shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. And it's good. Two points. Butler's got five. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Ingram, the pass to Nance. To the inside. Here's Valanciunas. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Man, he has been locked in this quarter. Shouldering the load at the offensive end. Pass to Horton Tucker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Give him eight points now. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. McCullum against Butler. McCullum, the pass to Nance. Back to McCullum. Here's Murphy. Here's the three. The shot, no good. Trying to claw their way back into this. And the best way to do that, minimize your mistakes and take good shots. Here's Ingram. Another shot. And it's laid in by Nance. And when you're the ones trying to fight your way back into the game, you simply cannot allow second chances. Especially when you're this far down, you have to make the most of every sequence. To the paint. Here's Butler. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Butler against McCullum. Pass to Ingram. Clarkson grabs a miss. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. And it's Butler with the jam. I like the extra pass. We know Rudy's a shooter first, but he also understands what this offense requires. Now here's Ingram. And 101 left to play in the third quarter. Just five on the clock. Here's Nance. Clarkson grabs a miss. Clarkson's got four rebounds in the game. And there's the foul. It'll go on Rudy Gay. That's his first foul. A great job to establish position and square up. And the Pelicans will go for a different look here. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Valanchunas. Hayes comes in for Nance. Jones, he's checked in for Murphy. And Alvarado's subbed in for Brandon Ingram. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Outside Jones. Launches it. Knocks it down from distance. Jones has got five now. 
They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. Yes, it's good. And that's just a good-looking shot. Gaze always had a good-looking jumper. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Jones. From deep. Second chance effort. And it's Hayes with the bucket inside. Hayes has got his second bucket on the night. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Uh, not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. And so it's New Orleans leading by 17 at the end of the period. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. We'll be right back after this word. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So for the Pelicans right now, we've got Willie Hernan Gomez, Herb Jones out there with Jackson Hayes. Then there's Josh Richardson, and it's Alvarado in at the point. Here's Horton Tucker, and they'll get another chance. Marketing the pass to Butler. Here's Horton Tucker. Second shot opportunity, and it's good on the layup. He's caught fire here in the second half. Better late than never. Gordon Tucker's gotten five of his nine attempts to go. Pass to Jones. Hernan Gomez inside, working on Olenek. And Alvarado gets it to go. I mean, I guess they're willing to give him that shot. <laughs> they may want... to rethink that strategy though outside Sexton marketing with it he's defended by Hayes and it's out of bounds still Utah's ball a few possessions into the fourth just over a minute play from 12 feet, Butler, good. Talk about making halftime adjustments. You love what they're doing with him now offensively. Here's Alvarado, checked by Sexton. Here's Alvarado. Outside Jones, pass to Richardson. The three ball. Here's Hayes, and finished off by Hayes. Making the most of the second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. Now Butler, the three is up. Drains the triple. You just can't afford to leave open shooters in this league. Everyone is practicing the three. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Kelly Olenek. Team foul. Shooting for New Orleans. Billy Hernan Gomez. Two shots. Shooting two.
And that one misses. Nance, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Brandon Ingram comes in for Jones. He does not get the second one. The Jazz have gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Here's Markkanen. And Markkanen with the stop. Larry Markkanen with his sides. He has decent hops also. And he can finish above the rim. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And here's Richardson. Shoots. He nails it. That's his fifth make in 11 tries. The Jazz have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Stripped it away! Now the Pelicans in transition. And he caps off the break with a monster slam! I mean in transition, Josh Richardson is fast with or without the ball in his possession. Butler finds Markkinen. Now here's Sexton. Pass to Butler. Six on the shot clock. Here's Markkinen. Pelicans cleared away. 22 was their biggest lead. Here's Richardson. Here's Hernan Gomez. And he dunks it down. Oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Here's Horton Tucker. Pass to Sexton. From the high post, nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. The defense was clearly not on the same page. No one picked up the open man. That was a good call. The defense wasn't established. Alan Chunas, he's checked in for the Pelicans. Checking in for the Pelicans. Jonas Alan Chunas. Pass to Ingram. To the wing, right side. Valanchunas against Olenek. Valanchunas can't get it to go. Utah has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. From 13, Sexton misses. Great defense. Can't let guys get open looks inside the arc. Here's Alvarado, guarded by Olenek. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Personal foul. The officials were right on top of that one. Shooting for New Orleans. Jose Alvarado taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls. So he gets them both. For Utah, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. 
Pass to Horton Tucker. Marketin with it. Shoots over Nance. Misses off the right iron. Well, New Orleans shooting 55% for the game so far. Jacks up a three. No luck on that one. And Utah will come the other way. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. And Josh Richardson gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's all about floor spacing. Every coach Olenek has played for loves to use him in that role. At the line for the Jazz, Jared Butler shooting one. And that one misses. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Valanchunas. Four on the clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Richardson for three. Ooh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Continuing for where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. Outside Sexton. Back to Butler. Fires the three. Alvarado with a rebound. New Orleans has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Ingram. Misses with the fallback. Jay, the Jazz have gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Gordon Tucker on the wing. For three, Sexton. The Pelicans pull it in. 22 was their biggest lead. Here we go. Beyond the arc. Richardson, no good. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. And that one's good. Marketing. Marketing. Putting his size to great use. When marketing is assertive on the boards, good things happen. Here's Alvarado. Checked by Sexton. Outside Richardson. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Laurie Markkinen. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. Shooting for New Orleans. Josh Richardson at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. The Jazz making a switch here. Clarkson's checked in. And the Pelicans also making a change. McCollum's checked in. That one misses, so he goes one for two. For Utah, they've gotten seven of 16 attempts to drop since the start of the fourth. And it's Clarkson missing. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. The three from Valanchunas. Utah with the rebound. Clarkson's got five rebounds tonight. Driving to the basket. Oh, there's a killer two-hand slam. Just knifing his way to the rim. He looked practically unstoppable on that play. Now here's McCollum. Back to Ingram. Pass to Valanchunas. Back to Ingram. Shot clock at five. Fires from deep. Hits the trifecta. Ingram's got 21. Yeah, that's a great shot. Third three of the game for him first in this half. Clarkson outside. 
And here's Sexton. Outside Olenek. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. New Orleans has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Richardson, the pass to Ingram. Now Valanchunas. Ingram with the ball. And Clarkson picks him up defensively. Clarkson against Ingram. Over Clarkson. They get it again. And Nance with the slam. Padding the stat sheet. Getting the board and the hoop all on one play. Yep, he's earning his coach's appreciation. Now here's Clarkson. Fires it. No good. A bit long that time. The Pelicans shooting 47% since the fourth quarter started. Richardson for three. That's good. And it's McCollum with the assist. McCollum's got six assists here tonight. And so they choose to intentionally foul. And in this era, we see some stars asking out, saying we don't have enough to win. Smitty, that's not the old school approach, is it? It's not, B.A., but what I would tell you now was totally different than the past. It's the length of contract. You have players now and teams have the option after one, two, or three years. So it definitely will be a lot of movement. Now here's Clarkson. Back to Horton Tucker. A shot to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hernan Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. And he makes it on the layup. It's been an outstanding performance for them in just about every area. Especially considering it's on the road in front of a tough crowd. They've been able to block out the distractions. And the Jazz with possession here. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. And it's Clarkson missing. <laughs> they are really struggling to stop this run. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Here's Horton Tucker, tipped away. And there's the rejection. They get it back. Second chance shot. And another shot. And it's Markkinen with the bucket inside. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Pelicans. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And after dropping three games to this team on the year, they have to be ecstatic to get the win. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Jonas Valanciunas. He played with a lot of fire, a lot of heart, especially on the glass. He's one of those guys who acts like every rebound is his, and many of them were tonight. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Daniels. 26 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Hayes. And it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. At the line for the Pelicans, Jackson Hayes. One shot. One shot. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Here's Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stop. Markkinen. We talk about Markkinen's handle. How about finishing strong above the rim? Here's Alvarado. And 
And so it's the Pelicans taking care of business in this one. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Steve Smith, I'm Brian Anderson. Thanks for joining us tonight. So long, everybody.